You said R.P. Mo. 3. Rainwater. I know what you did last summer. Rainwater. Yeah, I know you love drama. Don't forget. I know what you did last summer. So basically, you, before you say my name and the city turn you down for being against Mo. 3, you got to say R.P. Mo. 3. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You gotta stop. You gotta stop and think about it, man. When you got all these people watching you, man, there's a lot of people waiting to see if you can. People say, can he do another Mo3? I'm not trying now, to. I'm just saying, can he do another you know, artist, period? All he did, he, all that nigga did, he was one artist. He got he lucky with that. Yeah, they should have did it. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry y'all didn't do it. Y'all should did it. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is get a huge NIL check for my daughter. <laughs> yeah, I, if I see my daughter be the starting point guard at Duncanville High School, that's bigger than me with any rapper. Any any rapper. Yeah. Any of that rap stuff. Fuck that shit. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. That wasn't never. It wasn't never my goal to be no damn manager. It wasn't, it was, you was a man. You wasn't and said you wanted to manage Mo Three. Yeah, I'm saying before that. No, I didn't say I want to. When I when I met Mo Three, I wasn't didn't know I was gonna be his manager. I wanted. I was thinking janky. I wanted a middleman. I, I was thinking smile. I just wanted a middleman on the shows. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to help him get shows and and get my five hundred dollars out top. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what did you think about? Seven the Great came on here. What do you think about when Seven the Great? He answered you. He was on a basketball court. Three, the whole the whole route was the scheme of basketball. In the D, you know the city got me. Handle shit like Kyrie, G O A T. Shit ain't been the same since they shot three. Um, when he was on the basketball court, he said rain. You know, like he because you had came on here previously and they posted it and said that you said and I didn't think nothing about it when you did it. I be so lost in the situation. He say big three. I say and I started getting calls about that, bro. Like. They, he didn't like that else he wouldn't have brought you up in that verse he wants some clout uh, you saying his name first though. I mean you you call him name. you call him big three though yeah 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 I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you he, uh, 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 he need to be speaking on them kids over there in the, in the section who's doing without you didn't think about them three kids that died that died at the goddamn store the, uh, a week ago you didn't talk about them three the, the, about Bubba, Bubba getting shot at that store we need, it's a lot of shit you can talk about you can come talk about me you just want some clout listen you 45 years old and making a diss song you, if you went in the studio and said alright I got grandkids too alright I'm gonna just reply to Rainwater You had time. You had that was your chance to shout out your grandkids, shout out to to the people that done lost your your kids, your anybody in life, and you started to say rainwater now. Hey. <laughs> Don't make no damn sense. These people just be talking about the crack. We ain't talking about this. What's important in life right now? It's just going back and forth over some bullshit. <laughs> he got a nice. Why you didn't, why you didn't shout out the trucking company business? You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like you old motherfuckers. Because you old niggas ain't giving the kids game to be successful. You know one thing I did, I watched Boss Talk and I watched the nigga Brewster. I like Brewster. Yeah, Brewster go here. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. listen, I like Brewster. Look, Brewster sit there and took a nigga to a juvenile the other day, right? And the nigga had the time to talk to some kids. And never saying, bro, what's successful in life it's me waking up to my kids in my houses and providing for my mama to be successful. You ain't gonna be able to do it in here because you gotta get out and get your life together. You know what the nigga said? Shit, you, you know, I've been to jail too. You been to jail for 24 hours, 48 hours. Nigga, you ain't did no time in jail, <laughs> nigga. You went to jail damn near for tickets. Ain't gonna tell these kids you been to jail trying to trying to uh, up, uplift your goddamn jail record. Nigga, you, nigga, Who you we want talking me about? too gangster so bad. Yeah, I, yeah you, play, you play that clip in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who we talking about? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm, asking, I'm asking this, man. I yeah. gotta get back to it, man. I didn't know, and I was so, I didn't know that Roy Lee and some wasn't seeing eye to eye when he passed away. Mm. He told me that. He passed away, bro. It was it was a major disconnect with us. Okay. Like Roy Lee went on Real Life Street Stars and had some words about me. Really? Yeah, bro. Had some words about me about how, you know what I'm saying, we supposed to be rocking this and that. Nigga don't act like, you know what I'm saying? It, again, this is just a miscommunication. And so, in my take, I'm saying this is a person I grew up with. Oh, Dixon, Roy Lee from Dixon. Yeah. Bro, you can call me. 
You could call me and we talk like I, this. Is a person I saw every day that was up to my house playing video game. Yeah. Oh, you can call me. You don't got to do this on no platform. And I didn't know that. I, and he said, but you know, they were good partners. Man, they was nigga. nigga listen, Roy Lee wanted the respect from Seven and Gray. Seven and Gray didn't give it to him. It, but they was partners though, didn't they? they used to be together before the, all that, right? I don't know. We I was, thought they had a relationship. We had with him, but you know, you know, Rudy died, Bubba died, and they was both more three partners. They looked up to Seven Gray. Wow, yeah. and and, they, and I was more three and Seven Gray. Seven Gray was was uh he was hating on more three. Cause when Bubba, why did he say that? When Bubba died and and Roy Lee died for beefing with this one person, Seven Gray called the the uh, buddy over there to do an interview. Let me do a. Uh, a video in their hood, so it, it was it was based nah, on. All right, now nah, they can't. You can't. People can't pick sides, no, bro. No, 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 no. no. Like, like it, you people that. work with no, people no, no, in no, the city, no. man. I understand that, but that was the way to sit there and say, what 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 you had with these two niggas. That was some mo three shit. You're welcome to our side of town, and that's why his, his hood didn't even respect it no more, or the hood didn't support him no more. Bro, you know, a you, lot so, of so so instead, listen like this. Instead, as a grown man, because you're in your 40s and you know these kids is beefing over here, right? Why would you bring some? Uh, why would you bring a nigga from your side to be? Why you want to do? Why you want to do songs with a, another affiliate gang member in, 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 in your neighborhood when you're trying to help your neighborhood? You see, when you get to that age and you see two groups of beefing, I'm counseling both sides because with right now you're destroying the city. <laughs> Never, you gotta talk about it But so, you gotta understand right Just like I interview you all the time uh -huh. That don't mean that I don't rock with Yellow yeah, yeah, That don't no, mean no, I don't no. rock with anybody else I'm just telling you But it, it means Maybe he was gonna okay, do that And this. still be a part of whatever else was going on Nah he, he didn't know Three wanted to do a song with him They just maybe never got it done No he didn't want to do it how do you know? I, man, he didn't want to do it. <laughs> the fuck? He didn't want to do it. I'm trying to... Did, 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 did he three reach out to him? Bro, he's against anything Mo3 had going on. Well, you know... I, you I ain't never... In, in three or four years, you ain't never said R.I.P. Mo3. You said R.I.P. Mo3. Rainwater. I know what you did last summer. Rainwater. Rainwater. Yeah, I know you love drama. Don't forget... I know what you did last summer. So basically, before you say my name and the city turn you down for being against Mo3, you got to say RP Mo3. So say, let me get Mo3 out of there because I know how Mo3 fans is. And then let me say, Rainwater, I know what you did last summer. Rainwater, yeah, I know you love drama. Don't forget, I know what you did last summer. Well, that's what I do last summer. No, your old ass grew up watching that movie. And then, and then, and then you say, uh, Make sure Mo3 Key is good. Uh, key is good. And then Roy Lee Bay Mama come on there to make a post that Rain take care of the Mo3 uh, Key. Mo, 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 um, Rain take care of our kids. And then he say, he just did it for clout. That didn't make sense to me. So let me let me tell you this right here, Seven Great. So since we trying to make sure kids are good, let's put both put up $10,000 and donate it to your neighborhood. Let's do it like this. Since you had, you had audacity to go online and and make a diss, uh, make a di I don't know what you did, but now I'm gonna do some grown man shit. I'm gonna do some grown man shit. Let's donate ten thousand to your neighborhood, to whatever company you got. We gonna do it together. So that's twenty thousand dollars that your neighborhood can get back right now. So when you ever you ready, come on. Let's let, let's let's straight, straight up. So you had so much on your mind that you had to sit there and say, Rainwater, make sure. Mo three kids good. They me in there. So we go we go keep them over here to the left side. But it's some people over here we need to help to the right. You know what I'm saying? We need to go right. God always say do the right thing. So we'll go right. So since you had that much on your mind, let's put up ten thousand dollars for uh what's that where they from? Dixon Circle. Shout out Dixon Circle. Dixon Circle. So somebody over there can use it. So you got twenty four hours to, to to respond to that, but we go donate it. And we ain't gonna donate to nobody you know. We'll go down to, we'll go, I'm gonna call so many councilmen to people in the South Dallas district and we go donate. We'll write a check. We ain't doing no cash. We're doing some grown man, big boy shit. And we go donate. Man, so you, uh, hey, I, I, that would help them, that would help out. Yeah, yeah. Watch a rapper go ghost. 
So you willing to donate ten thousand dollars? That's good. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's good. My good, that's good. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.